Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Grey Wolf 24RR. This camper comes in at 33 feet 4 inches and weighs right at 6,100 pounds empty. As we get started up front here, we have your power tongue jack with your LED lights so you can see at nighttime when you're hooking up. We have two 20 pound LP tank bottles that will be filled by the Outpost RV. It also comes with this hard shell cover and quick access lid. We have your diamond plate rock guard with the curved radius front end. On the side here, we have your front storage compartment with the magnetic door catch. Inside, we have a built-in LED light in the storage compartment. Down below, you're gonna notice that we have your electric stabilizer jacks. How that works, you'll hold the switch underneath there. One leg will come down and engage. Then the other one will come down. They will equal out the pressure to stabilize the camper for you. We have your front bedroom entrance door. It is the black tempered glass door with a built-in window and full-size screen door as well. 15 foot power awning with the blue LED accent light underneath. Each leg is adjustable here. So if the sun's coming down, you can adjust the pitch of the awning. We have your outside kitchen area with your refrigerator. We have an ice maker outside with hot and cold, uh, your outside shower here with hot and cold water. We have your griddle with the prep area as well. There is an LP quick disconnect underneath. So you can just plug it right in and use the gas on the camper so you don't have to bring extra tank along. Right here, we have your furnace vent, outside entertainment center with your speakers that light up blue. We have your TV bracket and TV connections right down below here. Underneath, you'll notice we have the center cap popped off. These are the quick, easy lube axles. All four wheels have self-adjusting brakes and this tire pressure monitoring system. The side of this will turn red if you're low on air. So we'll unscrew this to demonstrate. That way you can just walk around and do a visual check before you head off for your next destination. We also have the adventure package on this camper, which gives it a two inch lift, the diamond plate metal along the bottom and the off-road tires as well. Moving back to the main entrance door, you're gonna notice we have the sturdy steps here where each leg is adjustable if you're on different levels of ground. Oversized grab handle, it's the exact same entrance door as up front. So you have the built-in window and full-size screen door as well. As you move to the back, you're gonna get a vent on both sides of the camper. So if you're hauling something with fumes, you can keep the garage area vented out. And we also are pet friendly here. We have your leash latch, so the furry family members could tag along as well. Moving to the back, we have your ramp door patio system all set up for you. It also includes a screen wall, which is rolled up right now, but that will you can undo that to help keep the AC in and the bugs out. Up top, and also notice the LED light, backup camera is included, and also the moon shade, which will set up like a canopy back here for extra shade over the patio. At the very top, it is prepped for a roof ladder. You could buy a telescoping roof ladder separately for that. And then underneath, you'll notice a tube storage holder for your sewer hose. So when that's not in use, you also have a place to store that. Up top is the other vent for our cross ventilation. This is a 30 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. Black tank flush, so when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you hook your water hose up here. That'll blast out the black tank for you. Outside shower with hot and cold water over here. That is a low pressure spray port. Underneath that, we have your water fill station on the right with your city water. So if you're at a campground, you just hook your water hose right up to it and that'll pressurize the lines for you. If you are dry camping or boondocking, you fill up your fresh water tank on the camper over here. That way you can turn on your water pump and use the water from that tank. We have your dump station down below, gray handle for your gray tank, black handle for your black tank. We also have this bright LED light around all your connections and dump station. So if it's nighttime, you can see what's going on. Cable connection there. And last but not least, we have your on-demand water heater. It is a tankless system. It is gas only, but you're only using gas when you're actually running hot water. So about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. And that'll conclude our outside walkthrough of the Gray Wolf 24 RRT. And now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have the D rings on the floor. Those will go all the way up in the kitchen area. We have your dinette on the left hand side, which that can also turn into another sleeping area for you. We have your large pantry and refrigerator over here on the other side we have this huge kitchen lots of counter space area and the double windows here really help open everything up right inside the door we have your main control panel see how full your tanks are up top turn your water pump on there's also 12 volt heating pads on your holding tanks there's a switch for that 
light switch, and then also to run your awning in and out. Entertainment center up top here. You can see the TV bracket is already on, so you can hang your TV up there. We're gonna have 110 outlets all throughout the camper here. There's one to the right. Stereo down below, which is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible, so you can sync your phone to it and play music that way. We have your fireplace down below, which can be on for looks, or you can actually be on for heat and turn into a space heater for you. You have your shoe garage down below. A little bit further over into the kitchen area, we have your furnace and then your microwave, which is also an air fryer and convection microwave. We have a three burner stove top with the glass prep cover. So you can utilize that as prep space if you are not cooking. We have cabinets up above with the glass doors, giving it a really nice home feeling here. Again, with that second large window, lots of counter space over here. We have your high rise faucet with the pull out sprayer. We're gonna have your cup rinsing station off to the left hand side, built in soap dispenser on the right hand side. We also have all of these attachments with the sink here, strainer, drying rack, and this is a large single bowl sink as well. The farmhouse style. You're gonna get some storage underneath. Try and open this door here for you. Take a peek underneath. Really strong magnetic locks here. To keep those closed while you're traveling down the road. We have your storage drawers on the left-hand side. On the bottom here is going to include a built-in trash can for you. So that's a nice feature. If you did not need the trash can, you could remove that and just have another storage compartment here. Right up above, we're gonna get two more 110 outlets, digital thermostat for your AC and furnace over here. We're gonna take a look at the refrigerator and freezer here. This is the dual swing door. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. We do have 200 watts of solar on the camper currently. That would also help run this while traveling down the road. And as you'll notice, you can open that fridge and freezer from the left or the right hand side here. So really neat feature that they came out with. Right underneath that, we're gonna have your breakers and fuses. That'll be on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we have your CO2 detector. That red key is a 12 volt cutoff switch. That will kill all 12 volt power to the battery. And then we have a voltmeter as well. Right beside the fridge, we have the pantry area. Large pantry that goes all the way down to the floor. So you get some really nice storage in here. And then each of the shelves have a lip on them as well to keep stuff from falling off when traveling down the road. Now we will take a look at the bathroom area. As we move into the bathroom area over here on the left-hand side, you're gonna get this large counter space area. Sorry about that, got a little extra bump there. We have the extended counter space over here to the right. Towel holder down below here. Great place to store your linens. And then we have your large single bowl sink here in the bathroom as well. Storage underneath that. You're gonna get your corner medicine cabinet here, which also allows for extra storage as well. On the wall, we have your 110 outlet, a light switch, and then over to the right, we have a thermostat for your on-demand water heater. That will allow you to turn it on and off right there and also adjust the temperature of the water itself. As we swing back over to the right-hand side, we're gonna have your toilet. Uh, lots of leg room on both sides here. And then of course we have the shower area. And this is more, more of like a square shower pan here. This thing is huge, lots of room in here, so you won't have to fight with the shower curtain as well. We have the built-in shelves on the surround here. Of course, the shower head. Up top, we have a skylight right up above. And then in the middle here, we are going to have this really large exhaust fan as well. And that has uh, multiple speeds to it. We do get the farmhouse style sliding door as we move up into the bedroom area. And in the bedroom area, we're gonna have this really large bed up here. Comforter is included. There's also storage totes underneath the bed. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up so we can take a look at that. So what they've done is created storage in the middle of the bed. 
And then you have these totes on both sides that you can slide out and store stuff underneath there as well. On the left-hand side, we have a built-in nightstand with a 110 outlet and 12-volt charge port. You'll notice there is a window over here as well. So you have the window here and that entrance door on the other side. So lots of natural light in here. Really tall hanging storage on both sides. Cabinets up top with doors. So you can utilize that for storage when traveling down the road. Uh, bright LED lights here in the bedroom. Over here by this nightstand, you're going to notice this 110 outlet that looks a little bit different. That is a built-in inverter. So as you're traveling down the road, if you pull over to a rest stop, you can turn that inverter on and have 110 power to that outlet, even if you're not plugged into shore power. There is also a 12 volt USB charge port on that same outlet right there as well. We have your extra storage built into the bedroom here. You'll notice the open face storage down below as well. And there is another location in here for you to put a TV with the connections right up top there. And while we're up here, I'll just show you the AC is ducted all the way through into the bedroom and bathroom as well. And now we'll go back and take a look at the garage area with the dinette set up here. You'll notice the tie downs on the floor. Those also go all the way down underneath the bench seats as well. And now we'll take a look up top here. You have two speakers towards the back that light up blue and then your subwoofer up top here. AC right in the middle of that. Here we have your booth style dinette. The table can lay flat and the cushions will fold together to make another sleeping area. We have these huge windows back here. Another 110 outlet. Again with the screen wall that you can roll down and uh, really help keep the AC in. Over to the right on the wall is your moon shade that is hanging up over there. Has its own little storage area. We have your helmet rack up top. And then of course, the other large window and vent from the inside here. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Gray Wolf 24 RRT. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.